while cruising around, Joe and Hubs hear about some hot chicks from their friend Tack, and they head out to party and hopefully get laid. Based on a short by director James McClonan called Tax Chicks, he and co-writer Rich Wilkes expanded it into a feature-length film. McClonan went on to direct the Jerky Boys movie. Other than that, he hasn't done much. Wilkes has written many movies since. Airheads, the Vin Diesel-led Triple X, and the Motley Crue biopic, The Dirt. Michael Coppolo, who plays Joe, has been in Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead and the original Point Break, and has worked sporadically ever since. Joe's kind of the audience avatar, I think. I'm sure everyone's been in a situation as the friend of, like, the cool guy. He played Joe in the original short. Bradford Tatum plays Hubs. His credits include Down Periscope, Powder, and he recently was in the first season of Westworld. Hubs is your typical bad boy, looking for trouble and not caring about the consequences. Even though he comes off as a jerk in most of the film, he's still pretty likable. A young Clifton Collins Jr., credited as Clifton Gonzalez Gonzalez, is Tack, who went on to do many films, 187, Traffic, Capote, and a small part in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, just to name a few. Here, as Tack, he kind of plays the lovable loser who just wants to party with hot chicks. He's kind of the gross guy that I know everyone has known, or even maybe was. As always, he brings the best to this role. If you haven't seen any of the films I mentioned, I recommend each of them. And the hot chicks are played by China Kantner and Renee Allman. China Kantner plays Jill, the more conservative of the two. She's wonderful in this. Jill's part hippie and part intellectual. She's had parts in many productions, mostly side characters like Airheads, The Evening Star, and various TV shows. She also happens to be Jefferson Airplane members Grace Slick and Paul Kantner's daughter. Renee Allman as Lainey, the girl who many of us knew in high school who, to put it nicely, has been around. Nothing against her, but she's pretty much just eye candy here. But she does stand on her own. Uh, side note, she's married to James Marshall of Twin Peaks fame. He played James Hurley. Even the side characters are awesome. Actors like Jake Busey, Taylor Negron, and a, a great character actor, Kevin Kilner. Taylor Negron stands out as the liquor store clerk. But if you remember him in Fast Times at Richmond High as the Mr. Pizza Guy delivery guy, you know he can be really funny in any role. Jake Busey is only in a few scenes as the jerk jock Muldoon, but he pulls it off well. Kevin Kilner, who's been in many, many films, plays Officer Dean. He's awesome, and I've known cops like him trying to relate to kids that he interacts with, and he pulls that off. The story is pretty standard for an early to mid 90s movie. Somebody spend the runtime trying to get drunk, stoned, and laid, or any combination of the three. I think the movie's pretty relatable though. I've known guys like these. The creator spoke at length about how they knew people like the characters and based many of the events on real life experiences from when they were younger. Overall, this is one of my favorite movies from the 90s. It's a fun little late night movie I used to watch on cable. I may be a little biased growing up with the movie, but this is probably one of my favorites. This movie definitely wouldn't be made today, which is a shame. It's funny and not to be taken too seriously. Plus it's got a killer soundtrack. Okay, thanks.